And it was at this moment that I knew that I had successfully pushed my limits. But in order to tell the full story, we got to rewind a little bit. All right, I would say probably one of the craziest runs I've ever done in my life in the bag. What'd you take? Easily, it was hailing half the time into our face and like 60 mile an hour winds, I think. The wind was whipping. I could not <laughs> wait to go through this footage and uh, get all the goods. Anyways, Moab 50 miler, baby, coming for you. All right, we've reached our first milestone in Moab training. Mr. Van? It's a little, uh... A little slipper row. <laughs> little slipper row. We're good. We're getting after it. <laughs> Dude, let's get in the mud. <laughs> what was the highest point during your training? You know, we had some moments of beautiful weather, great conversation, and really moments like these made it a heck of a lot easier doing back to back 20 mile runs. You know, running on sore legs, running on tired legs is not fun, but when you're doing it with good friends in a beautiful place, it makes it relatively bearable. Mile 37, and it's really starting to get tough. You're going uphill. What are you gonna be telling yourself? Yeah, the low points are going to be inevitable during this race. And for me, the goal is to embrace those low points. Lean into them, lean into the times when they get hard. Because moments like that are kind of what make you as a runner, as a person. So when things get tough, I'm gonna to be thinking about how tough they are. I'm gonna be thinking about how I'm pushing myself through them. And I'll also be thinking back to the countless hours of training that I've put in. Hours on the track, hours on the trails with friends, hours in the dark running alone. And being able to reflect on moments like these hopefully will help me push through when it sucks. It will suck. And there will be moments <laughs> of suck. All right, we're about 15 minutes out from the race. How are we feeling? Feeling pretty good. Uh, definitely a combination of nerves, excitement, but I know my magic mustache and all of my training uh, has definitely prepared me. I'm ready to get into it. Um, excited to, to feel some pain as psycho as that sounds, but I know it's gonna hurt, it's gonna be a long day, but you know, it's gonna be the best day ever. When that starting gun went off and all of the runners went through the shoot, it was almost surreal. It was surreal because this had been something that I had been building up in my head and training for, for the last 15 weeks and something I had been wanting to do for the last couple of years now. And as we lined up single file line, using our headlamps to navigate the snowy terrain, I had a sense of profound excitement, but also nervousness because I didn't know what the day would hold. And boy, did I have a day in store for me. Al, you wanna get in? You got a sled, you can just drag us. Dude, this is cool freaking footage. Dude, it is stunning. Look at this scenery. But these, uh, these that last four miles have been a little demoralizing. Nice. But we'll how you feeling? How you I'm feeling? Good. Feeling pretty good. Stomach's good. Um, just need uh, right, need my knees to stop aching. Wait till you see what they have for you guys at the finish line. Hot dogs? Enchiladas. <laughs> what? I, I, I <laughs> spend the next one. You're about like, I need a glizzy. <laughs> I thought I heard someone say that there was hot dogs. <laughs> Looking strong. Keep Woo! Let's go! <laughs> see you in 10.
first off course experience. It was bound to happen. Honestly, about 33 or so miles in. Feeling pretty damn good. Definitely riding a high right now. That's right behind me. We're making some pretty good progress. And yeah, absolutely stunning. I had to shut the top layer. It was getting a little warm. So, we're doing better now. Absolutely loving this. And then I hit the point that just about every ultra marathon runner experiences. A point where I wanted to quit. I got a really bad side stitch and just about every breath hurt. But I knew there was only one thing that I could do about it and that was to put one foot in front of the other and just make it to the next aid station. Coming into the aid station, seeing all of our friends, our friends were perched up on a rock, uh, hollering at us, making us laugh for the last quarter mile to the aid station. We got to the aid station and at that point we knew it was just the, the last little bit here. Um, we knew we were gonna finish, and it was just a matter of finishing strong. Yeah, that was really All right, Al, talk to me about your mindset right now. Get it done. Get it done, baby. And uh, one of the biggest moments was on the way out, you go through this tunnel underneath the underpass, uh, underneath the, the highway. And then as soon as we saw that tunnel, it was just a wave of emotion. We knew that we were so close to the finish. We knew we were right there, we could taste it. We dapped each other up, said, Ben f***ing made it, man. Uh, which was an amazing feeling. Getting under the tunnel, and then we could see it. We could see the finish line. We start talking, what are we going to do at the finish line? What are we going to do? Um, and then crossing the finish line, being able to embrace all of our friends. My stomach still felt pretty terrible, so I wasn't really ready to eat anything. But being able to be in that community, all of the volunteers were so nice. We had some of the world famous <laughs> enchiladas at the finish line. Um, and overall, it was just such an amazing experience. I also want to give a huge shout out to everyone who was crew on the trip. Um, ben, Rachel, Adam, Jarrett, you guys made it so much more enjoyable um, and really gave us something to look forward to after each leg. We were all, we were, as we were coming up to the aid stations, it was like, a, like a wave of relief where, okay, we're gonna be able to get our feet up. We're gonna be able to see friends, kind of joke around, really lift our morale and lift our spirits. And that was one of the huge things that really got me through the race. Hype.